All right, so here we're going to show you how to um, remove an arboreal viper from a cage. Uh, these guys are kind of tricky because they like to uh, wrap their tail around things and uh, not let go. So getting them out of a cage using just a hook can usually uh, present a challenge to somebody who is not familiar um, with handling venomous reptiles. So um, I've got my friend Mike here, um, and he is working on his permit. Um, to get venomous snakes, so I'm going to go ahead and let him do it, and we're going to be putting the eyelash viper right into this little container. All right, go ahead. So right now, um, this is my male um, eyelash viper, green phase, um, and he was in a pretty easy position, um, right up front, and not really wrapped around anything, but you can see how that can be a challenge. So now with the lid he's using some hemostats um, and instead of using your fingers to put it on um, it's best to go ahead and use something like uh, big tweezers or uh, tongs to put it on. And once it's on of course you can go ahead and tighten it. Alrighty, now that one was kind of easy. Do you want to go ahead and do the female? Sure. Alright, um, just bring her out and move her to the middle of the cage. So, hold on one sec. And you can see her back there, back of the cage in the corner. That's going to be a little bit more difficult for him. Now, I generally recommend using um, two tools to do this. Uh, and the reason being is because you're going to want to um, hold the snake and uh, support it with the hook um, and use your other tool, it could be um, hemostats, uh, which is what I prefer, or another pair of tongs or um, a snake hook, uh, something like that, to unwrap the snake and um, make sure it lets go without hurting it. All right. She's kind of gotten herself back into the behind the pine cone, though. Mm -hmm. You want me to go ahead and do this one? Sure. Okay, here you go. Take the camera. Right. So let's see. She's really back there, which is the problem with having a nice enclosure like this, but uh, I think it's worth it just for my own pleasure. Let's see if I can get her out. All right. There we go. Got her hooked. I just need to get her to let go. There's her tail. So if I can get her to hold on to that, it helps. Come on. Always be very careful of where you have your fingers um, holding the tools as well. Make sure you don't get too close. Um, a lot of the time I'll find myself focusing too much on trying to untangle the snake and not paying attention to where my fingers are. Did you see that? She just bit the tongs. is being very difficult. Try a different method. There we go. Almost there. A lot of the time if you just tap their tail, they let go. Like she's doing now. Don't step back. Don't do that. Come on. Come on. And there we go. She's free, almost. All right, so that's how you get a viper out. I'll go ahead and let her be now. Thank you very much. Okay.